Well, as the city of Sanibel rebuilds, they are looking at housing options, including housing that Sanibel's workforce can afford. They launched a survey this week where you can actually help weigh in and in turn help the city get money for FEMA for rebuilding. Fox 4's on Barusiev reports from the island tonight. Here on Sanibel, near the intersection of Casa Bell and Periwinkle Way, the community housing and resources of Sanibel has put out a new survey to find out how many individuals are in need of a home. The Community Housing and Resources of Sanibel, or CHR, addresses the growing need for affordable housing on Sanibel and Captiva. Executive Director Nicole McHale says they relocated to one of their apartment units because Ian destroyed their original location. We uh, right now own 62 apartments. We lost 11 of them after Hurricane Ian. Those 62 affordable housing apartments are around Sanibel, and Mikhail says that the needs assessment will help support this program along with other nonprofits such as Fish of Sandcap. This needs assessment is instrumental in being able to show the needs that are out here and to be able to acquire funding. Anyone on Sanibel is encouraged to take the survey, especially people who are on a fixed income or work on Sanibel. So this is little home in Sanibel, and we're happy. Like business owner Ileana Way, who has been a part of the program for 12 years. We're not rich people. They were working too, but they had their place, and I have my apartment too. Well, this is home. Without the apartment, Ileana tells me that she would have to live in Fort Myers, which means a two-hour drive every day. Before Ian, over 6,000 people worked on Sanibel and Captiva, and the survey is the first step to identify the needs of those who help the island life thrive. Members of the Sanibel community will have until November 2nd to fill out the survey, which can be accessed from mysanibel.com. Reporting from Sanibel, Anvar Ruziev, Box 4.